above even was one of the Queen's royal spiders. The kind that had taken away Ard on that terrifying night. They were the collectors of children who were to become Sixers. Come on, Dicey! We can't let it get away! Hurry! She's in our sights! Not today, Spider Monster! I always knew I was a Sixer at heart. I knew! I'll do all sorts of important work for the Queen, while Bernard mops the floor. Uh, hey, where is Bernie? <gasps> Bernard is gone! <laughs> a Sixer child is missing! I repeat, <laughs> Look! It's Bernie! From back home! Of course we should help him! He'll be eaten alive out here! Oh, the spider seemed impossible to get into at the moment. Oh, but perhaps Bernie would know how to get to her sister. Even knew... We've got to find him! Oh, yes, yes. Time was of the essence. I was done anyway. apart in a three-way civil war. A murdered father, three siblings, each suspecting the other of the deed. It's and 
a giant battle droid given to each by the Queen to settle the matter. Understand. Heck, most ah, of us here are. Crazy. I've got half a mind to. to uh, what was I talking about? Fascinating! Fascinating! Greetings! I'm doing a survey for the Upper Class Gazette. Do you have a moment? Splendid! Splendid! I have only one question. Who do you think started this war, turning our lord, their father's castle, into a battlefield? Surely you know the story of the three siblings? Who do you think did it? Who do you think killed their father and started this bloody civil war? None of them? None of them? Oh, I've, I, I've never heard such an opinion before. It's bold. It's direct. It's quite possibly insane. I'll write it down right here in my survey. Protect the king, king, king. Protect the king. He's in danger. We have to... Have to... Why'd you ask, stranger? What's your motivation in all of this? Oh, how heartbreaking for you. How tragic, you poor child. Oh, heavens no. That sort of thing wouldn't interest me at all. Good grief, spying on people. Oh, I make a point of not remembering anyone I see in public. Privacy is very important to me, you understand. What with that paranoid count demanding full reports of everything everyone does every day and all. I promise it, stranger. Bah! Call me crazy! I've got half a mind to... to uh, what was I talking about? This bell belonged to my family, don't you know? It still does, I suppose. It has. I'm noble, you understand. Heck, most of us here are. I suppose it is. I don't know any other way to live, you understand. It belonged to the triplets, and before then, it belonged to the Lord or King of Freedom. Before his murder. Just so. But I'm a distant relative, far enough to stand outside the daily battles and to not choose a side. You know, I have another distant relative, a cousin of mine, that I haven't heard from in some time. Not since this cursed civil war started. Last I heard, she was in the Duke's garden, playing nobility, eating cakes, I suppose. If I could see her again, I'd tell her that I miss her, that's all. 
It's silly, but you never think of the people you care about until they're no longer in your life. And it would do my heart good to know that she knows I do miss her. But it's too dangerous for me to go stumbling around the battlefield. Please excuse me. Protect the king! Protect the king! He's in danger! We have to... have to... The attack has begun! The king must be saved! What? Identify yourself, stranger! I am Nishka, and I'm... I'm... I... I used to protect somebody important, I think. A ruler, maybe? Before the war. Oh, even you sweet child. You can't keep clinging to the past. The king's dead and gone now for years, don't you remember? What? How did you know my name? What? I've never seen you before in my life. The king! Protect the king from danger! <laughs> oh boy! I can't wait to get back home! But I can't get back home without knowing the way. Or can I? Oh, <laughs> hey, mister. Uh, do you know the way to one... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, you want a hug? Or, uh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, it's, it's pretty cold in here and dark, too. Even suddenly felt like she was being watched. And to tell you the truth, I did too.
boy about yay height let me think uh, this one oh wow even is that you i'm so glad to see you can you believe that i'm stuck let him out that may be true but there is another truth. That if you're not afraid now, you'll soon learn to be. He's mine now. I won't be letting him go. I believe you'd call that Leverage. You'd think you'd know not to insult someone who's holding all the cards. Or in this case, children. Besides, you don't have what I need. Haven't you heard the bedtime stories? I'm what goes bump in the night. I'm what comes for children when they roam a little too far from home. This is what I do. Or what I used to do anyway. Before this silly war. Nothing you have, child. And I suspect nothing you can bring me. And you're also a bad liar. But perhaps you're right. I want the same thing all of us want here. Peace. I want the triplet war to end. Oh, I'm not. I'm the creature that moves in the dark type. But people only truly fear things that move in the dark during peace. During war? They are surrounded by greater threats all day long. And so nobody fears the Shadow Man anymore. Life is a greater horror. And they have overindulged, forgotten me. If you want me to give you a nod, then I want you to change that. I don't care how. I don't care about anything, even. Except being feared by everyone again. I've watched you. I know you're a dice wielder. Silence! Don't insult me with your bloody lies! They may work on the living. But you can't deceive the Shadow Man. You alone carry the power to affect the arenas and those giant robots. Figure it out, or you will never see your precious Bernard or any other child I choose to take again. Without peace, there will be no boy, no hope. And you will never see your sister again. For you, there are 
currently more important questions at stake. Go, even. Bernie's fate rests on your tiny shoulders. And my hunger won't be held at bay forever. To save Bernard from the wretched Shadow Man, even had to end Threedom's civil war. It was a hard task, an impossible task, but she wasn't going to let her friend die. The first thing she needed was information. Perhaps some of the locals would be willing to share what they knew. Completely mad. Have you seen Nishka? That poor woman. Completely mad. Remember you? We've spoken before, haven't we? No, I don't. I don't remember much, and I'm sorry. What did you want? Oh, with the children, the three children. They, they, well, something happened. I was there to protect him. I was his bodyguard, and he was betrayed. We were betrayed. Done wrong by someone who... who wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... It was such a shame, such a... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot what we were talking about. Hello. Do I know you? I'm sorry. I'm afraid... I'm afraid that these days I don't remember things as well as I used to. I have moments where I can see things so clearly, and then... Poof. But there have been times where an object reminds me of things. Holding an important artifact that reminds me of a person, or an event, that could bring it all back. Can you find these objects for me? One for each triplet. That could bring it all back. Oh, and if you could find the murder weapon that killed the king, I could remember that too. I feel certain of it. What's that you say? The king was murdered! Oh! Oh, whoa! I was supposed to protect him, I was. Oh, if only I could remember! <laughs> that platform reminds me. I'm supposed to warn travelers about something. I'm supposed to say something very, very important. <sighs> oh well, it's probably fine and we should all stop worrying about it.
Seeing the ease at which Dicey affected the world, even was surprised to find herself feeling a little bit frightened of him. How could someone so small and innocent contain so much untamed power? And now, even suddenly felt like she had the world on her shoulders. Could she solve the mystery of the King's murder? The Count, ladies and gentlemen, the Count has won the role! I can't predict are the roles of the Queen's Dark Dice, but everything else I know. It never goes the way you expect, does it? All at the whim of a dice roll. Here's here. Hi, Benny Hedges here. here. Card enthusiast and living store at your service.
Oh, hello. You've made it to Three Town, have you? Be careful here. Those triplets don't mess around. But then again, that just gives you three good reasons to buy some cars, eh? <laughs> I could ask you the same thing. But now we're both here, and that means one thing. Let's trade cards! Let me answer that question with a question. Who could possibly dwell on the past when we've got cards in the present? So, let's trade, shall we? <laughs> Someone has entered your ruin, uh, castle, your grace. Huh, I swear, it must be my bloody sister, the Baroness, or my fancy pants brother who thinks he's so much better than me, <laughs> sending their assassins to smother me in my sleep. But this count is awake and ready for you! You hear that assassin? 